Hiya, my name is uh, Sean Fitzgerald. I'm a local illustrator. Um, I've recently done a book called uh, The Last Battle of Moitura. Um, the book is a story very much of the local area and of um, various gods and goddesses who have come along here and then it gets linked in to the rest of the country. Uh, I first got an interest in Irish mythology when I was a child when our teachers would have been telling us great stories of uh, Cú Cullen and Fionn McCool and instead of drawing like cowboys or soldiers I was drawing Cú Cullen with his sword and what have you and as time went past uh, I got very much into hill walking and I used to walk up Muckish and Errigal and I would got very curious every all these walks I'd always see Tory Island in the distance and it always seemed very special. So you'd go up on the mountain, but Tory always had this real presence about it. So I got very interested in going to Tory Island. And when I went there, I heard lots of different stories on place names and where the place names were related to our Irish mythology. So I got more curious and I started going to the library in Guidor. And I, uh, they started giving me a lot of information on the place names and the original Irish names that linked in to our story. So locally we have a, an old graveyard here called uh, Tohobegli Graveyard and it's a, a Christian graveyard but its previous, previous history before this was it was actually a Neolithic mound uh, and a very, very ancient uh, uh, burial ground and it was called Lou's Mound. So again, linking in with Lou. So the more I found out all these stories, you, you can't help but get more curious so I started reading, reading, and then I started drawing maps of the local area that linked in to uh, our Irish mythology. And that was 10 years ago. Now, 10 years on, I've come out with the book of all these drawings and stories. And of course, my favorite story being the local one here of the stone, uh, because it's just so linked in locally with the landscape. And as you walk around, you feel part of that history and feel that presence of those stories. Banner was a, a notorious warlord and chieftain who used to raid all the lands here along Clohanili. Not a very nice guy. And in the story, um, Banner was trying to get the sacred grey cow from this area called Anglas Galvin, the grey cow. And uh, so in the story, Banner came over uh, to the mainland to steal the cow. So he shape shifted into this red haired boy, nicked the cow and brought the cow to the island onto Tory. Um, he stole it locally from a blacksmith called Gavda. Um, at the time, Gavda's brother, whose name was Kean McAneely, felt very responsible about the stealing of the cow. So he said he'd go over to Tory Island and take the cow back. So on landing there, the story takes a whole other uh, turn. Getting back to Valor, Balor had a daughter called Etna. Now Etna was very, very beautiful. And the Druids and Tori told Balor that Etna, if she got pregnant, her son would kill Balor. So this was the prophecy. So Balor locked Etna in a tower on Tori to prevent any man ever laying eyes on her. So when Cian got to Tori to steal the cow, he was very curious on this tower. So he made his way up to the tower and fell in love with uh, Etna. Um, nine months later, Etna had a child. And Balor, when he found out this, he came to the mainland and he said he was going to find this Cian McAneely. So when he got here, he caught Cian and he brought him to this stone here and cut off his head. Now, the stone is called Clach Cian Neely, which is the area is called Clach Neely and it is the head of Cian McAneely. So on top of the stone, on top of the quartz stone, we have like, there's a red flow. It's like a rust flow going down through the stone. And they say that is the blood of Cian McAneely. The child that was born of Etna was Lou. Now Lou was known as the God of light and worshiped from all the way down the country. Now Lou, after a time, is the father of Cúchulainn, who is a very, very famous hero in Irish mythology and uh, warrior. Um, so Lou is linked all the way down through Cúchulainn, uh, throughout our Irish mythology into the Ulster cycle and our mythological cycle. 